Let's build this extremely simple and super easy blaze farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.20 plus that'll give you over five stacks of blaze rods an hour plus 21 levels of XP per hour. Guys, this is not a farm that you can miss. Without it out of the way, let's get into it. Now, as you can see here, this farm is extremely simple to make. It is only a seven by seven area. Takes me less than 15 minutes to make. All you have to do is find the spawner. That's the part that takes the longest. Once the blazes actually fall down into this area here, more blazes are able to spawn and go down there. So blazes can spawn until you have actually reached the mob cap. So this farm is absolutely insane and is definitely not one that you are going to be able to miss out on. I'm a blaze. This is a blaze farm with a blaze spawner. Let's get into it. So to prove that this farm is as good as I'm saying it is, I'm going to AFK here for one hour and show you guys the rates to this farm. You can see I've already got four or five stacked up here. There's nothing inside of here and my XP level will be zero. You're going to see in one hour how much stuff you're going to get from this farm. Multiply that by an entire night if you use an auto click or whatever you want to do. This farm will give you a ton of stuff. I'm going to get into the AFK test and show you how good this farm is so you guys know that you should build it. Let's get into it. All right, so it's been one hour of me AFKing at this farm. Not exactly AFKing, but I did put on an auto clicker to actually kill these guys. I'm going to go ahead and kill these last guys here. Show you how much XP. So I got 21 levels of XP in one hour at this farm. Plus for the blaze rods, I'm going to see. First of all, like I said, I have looting three on this and I put some sharpness. All right, look at that. So in one hour, I got almost exactly five stacks of blaze rods from this farm. That is absolutely insane, plus all of the levels. That's in just one hour. All of this. I mean, how are you ever going to need any of this? All of it, I should say. So, yeah, definitely farm that you have to do. I'm a blaze, so you should trust me on that. Let's get into the video real quick. Leave a like. But, yeah, let's get into it. Now, of course, since this is a blaze farm, you're going to have to be inside of the nether. And to do that, the first thing is you have to go through the nether portal and find and go into the nether fortress. And once you've done that, you're going to want to go ahead and find a spawner like this one that's enclosed in this area here. Now, it doesn't have to be like this. It can be in the open, but the ones like this generally have better rates because there's no blazes or anything around affecting the spawn rate of this spawner. So you're going to want to go ahead for the best rates. I would say find one that's completely enclosed just like this. You're going to want to go ahead and make a 7x7 platform around this spawner here. So I'm going to go ahead, break one on each side of this here, and then go ahead and place one block here. Again, is if this spawner is in the open, you might have to modify this a little bit, but it's still going to be the same 7x7 platform. So go ahead and break out all of the rest of this area here now. So all of this stuff to make sure it's 7x7 seven seven wide. And then once you have broken all of this here, you're just going to want to go ahead and extend this. So like I've said a couple times now, it's going to be a 7x7 seven seven wide platform on the ground right by the spawner here. Also, it might be helpful if you do this in peaceful, not while it's actually working, but while you're building it so you don't have to keep killing the blazes over and over. And if you want to make it easier on yourself, you can just look and see that there's three blocks on all sides of the spawner here. That's three there, three there, three, and three. And what you're going to want to do is just build up the walls around this thing here so that you can see you have this nice and closed off area of the 7x7. Seven seven. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, just like this right here. I'm not going to go up to this spawner here, just clear this out a little bit. I'm going to go up to this spawner. Go up one, two, and on that third block is actually where you want the roof to be. So I got pretty lucky. I already have it right there. I'm just going to break a couple. Do it like that. But on top of the spawner, it should be three or two blocks high above the spawner there. Now that you have this nice 7x7x3 seven by seven by area here, I'm going to go ahead and place a slab on top of the spawner there. You don't have to do this, but it will affect your rates if a blaze decides to spawn up here and won't fall down into the actual killing chamber down there. So go ahead, place some sort of non-spawnable block here, like a leaf or gla uh, glass or a slab, whatever you want to do. Place a slab, and then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and dig down three as well. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and then I want to go ahead and dig out this entire area here. So it's a seven by seven by six tall area, and that's the entire box, with this blaze spawner smack dab in the middle. Now that we have the area dug out here with the blaze spawner right in the middle, first make sure that there's no holes in the ground or the walls where the blazes might be able to escape. This is just so that the farm is as efficient as possible. We want to make sure that all the blazes that spawn in are falling down here for you to collect all the blaze rods and XP. We're really quick. If you are enjoying the video, I'm a blaze. This is a blaze farm, so it just works. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you want to download this world, check out the dimensions of anything. If yours isn't working, whatever you want, go ahead, check the first link in the description. Let's get back to the video. So once you have the area dug out, right underneath the blaze spawner here, go ahead and break that block. And then in any direction you want, I'm going to do it this way. Break out those two blocks right beside it and then go down three for a total of four down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you can now see if you want to check. You've got this big seven by seven by six tall area with three blocks broken down in the middle, dropping down four. 
Now we are super close to done this build. It'll be about five more minutes. All we have to do is make the killing chamber for it. So make sure you stick in there because I'm very, very close to done. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is find which side you want the chest to be on. I'm going to go ahead and pick this side. So I'm going to go ahead, dig out a couple blocks right here so I can actually place down my chests. I'm going to do a double chest just because this farm does produce quite a lot of drops with one piece of glass on top of the front of the chest here so that we can still open up the chest. And now what I want to do is take my hoppers and lead it into this chest here. Wow, I just said chest a lot. Okay, so take one hopper, put it into the chest, and then put two hoppers into the side of the hoppers there so that any items that fall into any of these hoppers are going to go inside of this chest here. You're now going to want to dig out yourself a nice little area just like this, something small so that you can still actually be able to kill the blazes once they fall down here. So for that, go ahead, place two blocks here, any solid blocks, take some slabs, place them on the roof here, and now you can see that when you stand here, you are actually going to be able to kill the blazes here. Their XP is going to be collected through this, and it is all going to go inside of the chest, all the blaze rods. I'm now going to go out of this area just for a sec and back up here because we do have one more step that we have to do really quick. Go ahead, take your six signs, place three on the inside of here, and then shift click and place three signs on top of those signs there. So I'm going to place them, shift them like that, and now what I want to do is take my lava, take four buckets of lava, place them in all four corners, and now it might be a good idea to use some fire resistance, otherwise you might be able to get killed by this, you know, always safe, better safe than sorry, right? Go ahead, place lava in all four of the corners. You should see that anywhere the blazes are going to fall inside of here, they're going to be pushed down into this area for you to be able to kill them. And just like that, the entire farm is complete. Now a couple things, if this farm isn't working, the first thing you should check is simply go into your settings and make sure it is on hard mode and you should see right away blazes start to fall and they get pushed down into that area there. Now the thing is if they're not on hard mode, if you're on easy or medium, it'll still work, easy or normal sorry, it'll still work but on hard mode mobs spawn 50% more so go ahead and go on to hard. And if you're wondering, this mob spawner will not stop spawning blazes until the mob cap is reached because the blazes actually go out of the uh, spawn area. So how it works is you can only have a couple blaze spawn at a time, but when they actually do fall down into that area just like that, they get out of the area and more blazes are able to spawn. So you can sit there for 10-15 minutes, get a couple blazes stacked up there, and then you can go ahead and kill them, use looting, you can make a trident killer, whatever you want to do. It's a super efficient farm and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But as you can see, some blazes I've stacked up here. I'm going to go ahead, stab these guys really quick, and you are going to see that all of their XP does go into my inventory there. You can see it all comes to me. And all of their drops go inside of this chest here, and that is the entire farm complete. If you have any questions about this farm, go ahead and leave them down in the comments, and also like if it worked, and subscribe. Also, if you want to download this world, you can go ahead into the first link in the description. I'm breaking blocks up here. Whatever. Go ahead. First link in the description. Download this farm. Check the dimensions of whatever you want. That's also my Discord, so you can talk to other subscribers, whatever you want to do. And, uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Blaze Dempsey out.